Blessings, family. Pray all is well with each one of you. Welcome to another video on YouTube, Yah Royal family page. I'm a messenger, a vessel, and a princess of Yah. And I pray again that all is well with our family, 12 tribes of Israel. So wanted to come back on with another video in regards of some updates about BAM, Black America's Mass Migration. Many places on the web, um, this is actually an update surrounding Prince Michael. Um, so there is an article that came out and I'll cover that. I don't know if you heard of um, that, uh, that the White House have on their listing the country called Wakanda as it is in the movie Black Panthers. Well, family, it goes deeper than that. It wasn't by chance that they had it on a list. It's because it's, it's showing up to be prophetic. Um, due to the lawsuit that um, was presented to the, the United States, um, you know, slash Trump because he's a president in Abraham Lincoln estate. So much other things are happening. So I just want to cover some updates here. It says the U.S. federal government acknowledged kingdom of heaven suing USA for 1.28 quad million in slavery reparations claims it's a mistake okay so u.s federal government acknowledged the kingdom of heaven and i'll show you down where um further into this article where it says the kingdom of heaven and you may have seen it in the previous video so so it says that claims it's a mistake right so it says that black panther in guy kuyu Guy Kuyu, God's Plan, Kingdom of God, Kingdom of Heaven, Mount Kenya, Mount Zion, Baal, U.S. Government, USDA, Wakanda. There is no mistake in the eyes of God who works in mysterious ways. Today's mystery is why the federal U.S. government will list the Kingdom of Wakanda as a trade partner on a federal agency website when there is a 1.2 quadrillion U.S. dollars lawsuit filed against the United States for slavery reparations in the Northern District Court of Georgia with Wakanda listed as the plaintiff. Was it a mistake or was it a part of God's plan? So this, I'm going to enlarge just a little bit here, and you'll be able to see this as part of the lawsuit um, documents that was sent over to the White House, and um, it speaks of federal courts are co courts of limited jurisdiction, limited power, and it speaks generally only two types of cases can be heard in federal court, cases involving a federal question and cases involving diversity of citizenship of parties. And then it goes on to say something in reference to, um, says a case in which a citizen of one state sues a citizen of another state or nation and the amount at state is more than $75,000 is a diversity of citizenship case. In a diversity of citizenship case, no defendant may be a citizen of the same state as plaintiff so um you can go down a little bit under here where it says if the base of jurisdiction is a federal question you can read all of that family and this is lining up with the u.s constitution the federal treaties that he have put in place um just to put out there because what it's really saying is that we should have had a treaty just like the indians you know have a treaty with america um, and then as you go down here a little closer with B, down here where God, 
um, it's, you know, circle around it. It says heaven, kingdom of heaven via Mount Zion, a.k.a. Theo, a.k.a. Wakanda, a.k.a. Mount Kenya, a.k.a. Corinna. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. A.k.a. Ta Nitera, or A.k.a. Ta Nitello. OK, so it's on this document that was sent with all the other information. Right. So it says page three of the federal complaint number. So this is a page three, which um, this was actually located. So why was the name Wakanda used on the federal complaint? And that's the case number right there, um, or the court number. Contrary to popular beliefs and repetitive, repetitive um, libel um, from Media House, uh, Wakanda is no longer a fiction, a fictitious African nation. The creator of Black Panther, Jack Kirby, gave comic book style credit to Al, Al Jura, clan of the Gaikuya tribe in 1978 for inspiring the storyline by creating a new character in Black Panther comic book issue 7 and naming him Jairu after the clan's name. He also gave credit by drawing the traditional orange clothing of the Gaikuya elders on the cover of the issue. The blue ribbon used to signify a program on a spiritual journey to Mount Kenya was even included on the cover. So as you see here, family, this is a color that they, what he said in the orange, and this is a comic book that, you know, the movie, uh, the Black Panther got inspiration from. And um, you can see that this has been really being talked about for years, right, since 1978. Okay, so it says um, this issue is important because it's the one that showed the origin of the most fundamental aspect in Black Panther storyline. The, the Marvel database credits this issue as giving the official history of the main story of the Vibranium, of the, I'm sorry, Vibranium Wakanda, which was used in the very first scene of the movie with the meteorite, excuse me, without the information he got from the Al Adro clan, there would simply be no vibranium meteorite, no Wakanda, and no sacred herbs or herbs for the strength of the Black Panther. Yes, there would be absolutely no story without them. So he gave them credit in 1978. 40 years later, in 2018, the name Wakanda was officially acknowledged, accepted, and adopted around 1.35 in this video by Samuel Kamithia, Kamithia messenger at Mount Kenya chief seer, doing a historical ceremony, passing the baton to African Americans and welcoming them into the guardianship of the Ark of the Covenant so they could play a special role in bringing about global peace, the prophetic way from Mount Kenya, uh, Mount Zion, I'm sorry, according to Chief Seer Messenger, who declared global peace cannot be obtained by political setups and monetary circles. So here you can actually see that by clicking on this as well. The week-long ceremony ended with a gift being presented from the official Black Panther movie. Jews, Baba G, um, to Mr. Kamath of Mithia by St. Michael, 33, who was given the new name, uh, Montsharia, a uh, Montsharia, a uh, Musharia, doing the ceremony, bestowing the traditional capacity of an advocate, attorney, ambassador upon him for Mount Kenya, a.k.a. Mount Zion, a.k.a. Wakanda. Wow, family. Wow. After hearing the chief's message, messenger accept the name Wakanda for Mount Kenya, St. Michael returned to the Americas and began using the new name for Mount Kenya on official documents. The first state document Wakanda was used to identify Mount Kenya was the Blood Moon Treaty signed in Jamaica on the night of the Super Blood Moon 
in 2019, which marked the third year of Donald Trump inauguration as U.S. president. And there go the flyer here. Wow. Look what it says. The last supper in Babylon. So family, this, <laughs> wow. I, I'm, you know, let me just pause for a bit. I think, um, I've been sharing, you know, with family and friends and some, some of this is going just above people head. And, you know, a lot of us trying to, you know, ones trying to make out what this is all mean because of what we were taught and what we have read in the Bible, how things, you know, would play out. And, um, we, we just can't say, you know, we just have to continue to seek the almighty and ask for more understanding clarity. Um, because, um, it just, with this young man, uh, Prince Michael, he, you know, he got to be heavily, heavily surveillance, surveil, surveillance is on him. Got to be, he sends the document in his name. They got his address. Okay, he's traveling different places to Africa. They can really put a pause or stop on his, um, you know, passport. So he know they know his ins and out family. The only, you know, way, and I'm just saying, and I pray that the Almighty keep him safe, is that, um, you know, they are trying to get all this, uh, get an understanding. See, we have to look beyond um how we were told different things because it's much bigger than this, right? It's much bigger than this. And, um, just like, you know, when Moses and Aaron went up to, to Pharaoh, just like when King Cyrus went up to Babylon, just like when King Nebuchadnezzar went up to Assyria, um, you know, all of them play a part in being who the almighty chose to use. And we don't get to pick and choose, but we were told what we were told that, you know, Yeshua will come and then that's when we will be redeemed. But, you know, as the Bible have shown over and over, who's to say who the Almighty will put in that lineup, lining things up prior to that, you know? So I'm just saying, family, um, this is just like every time when I see something come out, um, I'm like, wow, because there's some areas when I hear them talk more on the spiritual side, um, and lining up with the Bible, it's to me in some areas that it doesn't connect because when they speak of black people, they speak in, in general, right? Um, they're not speaking and calling themselves Israelites. They're, they're, they're speaking about God. They say that he's a creator. Um, they speak, they call him the most high as well. He's a creator of heaven and earth and, and the people and whatnot. And so, even in our Israelite family from the Bible, it gives us a separation from Ham to Shem to Japheth, right? So that part, you know, I'm not understanding all in full because um, a lot of the information that they say that they got, you know, that the world said they got already, but they said that they have um, stuff going back 800 years that, you know, and it was passed down generation, generation that was hidden. And there are people that were born to, um, protect these things. It goes down in their family line. So 800 years of, um, of different, you know, things that, that, you know, actually surface and they got it. And even they speak of the Ark of the Covenant. So, um, I know this white man from, from Tennessee, he went and he said that, you know, the, the almighty led him to the Ark of the Covenant and that the people in, um, Israel have, uh, know exactly where it's at. They say it wouldn't let nobody else in the building. The ones who tried, they died. 11 people try to go in and take the art out. They couldn't. And he's dead and gone now. And I shared, um, his videos along the way. Um, I, I don't recall his name right now, but he's been on many, uh, different, you know, like the you see the relic and the, um, you would see the movie like relic. He's been one like out there, like even he, you know, said that they found the, um, Noah's Ark, right. Where it says it in the Bible. Okay. So I just wanted to, like I said, pause it for a moment and say, um, prayer goes up for this young man, you know, at the end of the day, family, I don't know all the ins and outs, but I tell you this, he has to be heavily, surveil surveillance have to be on him and 
no one that I know of anybody doing anything has ever went this far and things is just clicking as it goes, right? It's just moving right in the, in the places accordingly, right? So, um, of course, like I say, you know, um, you know, follow this young man and um, let the most high lead and guide you and open up your understanding to understand what this is all about. Because like I said, this is all new and we just not um, not look at it from another angle. We look at it from just the way how it has been read from, you know, told in the Bible. But there can be lead ways up to that, you know, what's to come. Let's continue. So it says the ceremony was attended by the Jamaican government minister of energy. Fayetteville Williams and the treaty was signed by the Maroon state of um, Epcon at Pong permanent secretary of state, Dr. Christina Sinclair, eldest descendant of Maroon, a queen nanny. The blood moon treaty was also signed by Grammy nominated artist, Cizel, uh, Cizla, Cizla, Cal Oji, Oji, um, Sizzla is a veteran champion of black liberation, also president and uh, plenipotentiary, I'm sorry, for the Rastafarian, um, Naya, and look at ya, Naya Ben G, um, ordered who received a reggae, reggae music icon status citation in um, August of 2019 by the Jamaican Prime Minister and the President of Kenya where Wakanda is truly located. Wow. So these are them right here. All right. Into your far left. Um, you know, of course, Timothy, I'm almost finished. Um, so I'm trying to see Prince Michael the, to your father in the white. I know. So to my far left, if you're looking at it. That's Prince Michael to your left. Okay, so aside from the diplomatic, diplomatic relations on behalf of Wakanda, St. Michael was also in charge of spearheading legal case against Walt Disney Company for unauthorized usage of tribal secrets in the Black Panther comment and film franchise. He began privately investigating and compiling a list of federal and international charges against the corporate um, giant. So I'm just going to open this up. And this was in one of the other videos. So you can see here what this is. So um, all of this is documented, heavily documented family. And like you can go and read it. And I'm, I'm going to, um, because I'm in, you know, visiting one of my family members. And of course, um, I'm in <laughs> in their space. My brother-in-law, he's like, you in my, you in my space. <laughs> With his newspaper, we don't went and got his newspaper, so he's ready to chill. And I'm in here, you know, of course, talk, talking, and this is like really the quietest place right now. So I'm going to close out shortly, but I wanted to bring this on. Um, this right here is what they sent to Disney and Marvel legal team has both been put on notice concerning the grievance. So, you know, for them using in, in um, carrying forth, it says confirmation of the receipt for the notice of grievance sent to Disney by St. Michael's original attorney. A federal case has not yet been filed against Disney because the private investigation continues. So they're still investigating it. So I just share with my page, um, Facebook, all the Bible movies that these people have done about our histories as Israelites, all the, the movies in general about, you know, the, the Noah's Ark, the Ark, um, you know, just, um, all these different type of movies about the, the relic and, um, you know, one out there, um, these books that has been written, you know, did they get our permission? So you see how, when it comes down to, I shared about the Jewish people speaking that some of them would reform and they want to talk about reparation for the black Americans, um, African Americans. And I put out, I said, ain't nothing they can say or do unless the almighty give them a figure. But other than that, no, because it's so complicated. It's so complicated. That's why he said we will leave with great abundance. It's so, it's so complicated. No man can come up with a figure because we, we, from all angles, this whole world circle around us and they make money off of our, you know, past, present and future history. You understand? So it's much deeper than that family. So, um, let's see here. 
So then it says here about um, continues the evidence is still being compiled. Okay, um, his work on the case recently led to my Kenya College of Sierra's quietly gaining the lawful ownership benefits of the vibranium Wakanda's and Black Panther's franchise rights as you see them listed under the rights of permission. And then you could go down and read because what he's saying about the vibranium, it is a real, um, it's real, but they did not, you know, they added some stuff onto it in the movie. Um, but it's a, a way that um, it can be used. And he'll explain this further down here. So I'm just going to um, close out now, family, but I wanted to bring this to your attention. There was another video that I wanted to share as well. Um, so I'll, I'll get that in my next clipping of interesting finds <laughs> that's to be the heading and um i'll see y'all in the next video and again let's continue to pray for this brother um and just know that um that you know he got the facts to show it's not like we watching or seeing anything someone just talking and don't have facts so um i know that some of you may be skeptical because what we have always been taught um, and told how things would pan out, but nothing was before that. You know, they could have had this books that lead up to someone will rise up and do this part. And then, you know, Yeshua will come our prince, our king, you know, uh, I'm sorry, our king will come, you know, and, 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 and go forth. But cause there are 204 books, but we only really only have access to about a hundred books, right? So family, again, blessings to each one of you. Shabbat Shalom.